So I went to a party like a few nights ago and you think it was fun, right? <laughs> Wrong. So this is a message to all those people at those parties, bars, you know, wherever you socially interact with people, on the playground, I don't know. You think, you think you're doing the right thing, but you're... <laughs> Wrong. Gay parties. How to survive. And I'll start this video off with a true story that has a very important moral. That moral being even the fucking innocent foreign exchange student in the corner has a master plan to steal your boy interest. Don't let him. So let's get right to it. A few days ago I was invited to a party because <laughs> I'm a famous socialite, duh. So I get there, have a few drinks, blah blah blah, no one really gives a fuck, and then the action starts to happen right about halfway through the party. God forbid someone be a good Samaritan at one of these parties. I was sitting with my friend, you guys probably remember him from the Kill My Boyfriend video, yeah he's my friend. I was sitting next to them on the couch, we were just talking, we were drinking our shitty ass jungle juice. And this, I don't want to sound offensive too, this foreign exchange student comes over and he goes, oh, Yo necesito una persona. Oh, quien puedo hablar espanol? I don't, I may have butchered that. Yo necesito una persona. Yo necesito. And I was sitting there and I was like, Spanish? I am up for the challenge. Oh, si, yo puedo hablar un poco. And he was like, oh, si, si, yo necesito agua porque yo no, no ne necesito agua porque yo no puedo ser enfermo. In my mind, I'm like, enfermo. Agua. Words. Water. Sick. He's going to throw up. Okay, I stand up from the couch. Oh, this is not my house, I don't know. I remember in Sunday school, learning about the Good Samaritan who helped the guy on the side of the road or something. I'm looking around, looking around for some, like, where, where can we get this kid some water? I turn around. What the fuck is he doing? What was that good-hearted, innocent, foreign exchange student doing? Was he A. Getting enfermo on the floor? B. Asking another individual for some agua because he really needed it? Or was he C. Stealing my fucking man? Who wasn't really my man but my friend, but seriously, it's not the point right now, okay? Since I had gotten up, he decides he's gonna take my seat, fling his legs over top of the kid who I was sitting next to, and start speaking to him in fluent English. Ding, 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 ding. God forbid I wanted to get you some agua. Drink this. <laughs> so the moral of the story is pretty much don't trust anybody. Keep your boy interested at your side because he's the hottest fuck and thirsty bitches be disguised as cute foreign exchange students and they're watching. Always. Waiting. Laughing. So I tap him on the shoulder like... If you need water... You can go get some downstairs, bitch. Salsa your ass out, out of here. But wait, I hear you guys saying, Jack, we don't have a boy to guard, we don't have boyfriends. In which case I say, that's fine, go get yourself a happy sax. But heed my warning. The less clothes that you are wearing is a sign of the urgency in which you need to go home. There's something like with eyes, like eye, like trying to catch somebody's eye. There is no need to, from across the room, the second you see me, to go, <laughs> What does that mean? If you, if things are going well and we're having a conversation, the last thing that you should do is point out people in the room who you've hooked up with. Where is the wires in here? Not connecting. I had sex with him behind a dumpster. You should have fallen in the dumpster so I could close it on you so I don't have to deal with you at parties anymore. So that's about it for this video. If you guys heed my warnings, you will have a fantastic party, bar, club experience. If not, eh, you'll be crying in the corner. Alone. Make sure you guys give this video the thumbs up if you like it, and in the comments below, tell me your crazy party, bar, club experiences, the craziest thing you ran into, bitches, biddies, thirsty hoes. As always, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next week.